got back out there after you heard it? Just feel like I couldn't make any cuts on it, uh, so it was best to put somebody else in because I wasn't 100%. What was it like having to sit there and watch the last couple drives with with what was going on with you physically? Man, of course, it was hard. I wanted to be out there, but uh, Javante went in there. He did his thing. Uh, just didn't, didn't, uh, We didn't get the turnout we wanted. How, how does this team sort of get refocused quickly and, and not let this you know become a bigger issue? Uh, stick to schedule. Do the same routine we kept having. We were seven and zero before this game, so get in there tomorrow. Get your treatment. Get watch film and just correct our wrongs and keep moving forward. So we read, described last week for you as an in-house assessment. What can you tell us? How was it different last night? I think he answered that question to the fully to the fullest already. For yourself, the experience of watching that game last night, not from the sideline but being sideline. What was that like for you last week? Uh, I, it wasn't good for, personally. Uh. I was just so excited to go out there today and play with my team. I had fun. It's just didn't get what we wanted to get today. Did you have a sense that you'd need to have a big game without Marcus out there today and, and with the weather the way it was? Well, running backs in general, we, we needed to step up this year. We uh been off and on, so I just know I didn't, we all need to step up collectively. So I think today we run, as a running back, we got to play a good game, but we didn't come out the way we wanted to, so it doesn't really – matter in my aspect really. After uh, uh, Ethan comes up with the interception there at the end, I know you were sidelined at that point. What goes through your head? Just where you guys are in the game, just how things are. Did you feel like, all right, we got this under control, or what was your sense at that yeah, point? Ethan made a, a, a heck of a play. I uh, was so excited. Yeah, off, I was just hoping we was going to be able to run the clock out. They, the defense used their timeouts well, and man, I was so excited that we had it, but it just wasn't what happened. Um, I was just, man, my old line was killing it today. They looked amazing today. My old line, if you watch the film, my old line looked amazing. Uh, and I just listened to my coach and do what I had to do and ran hard and got it done on the ground today. Getting McCade back, just how much of a difference maybe was that for the offensive line? And it was lovely. McCade had a great game as well as, well as all the whole line. They had a great game today. What do you guys, what do you guys do? I mean, like you said, you go back and you do the treatment, but. Mentally, is this a hard one to overcome first loss of the year? For of course it is. Uh, we had big plans of going under. We didn't plan on losing this week or at all this year. So got to go back to the drawing board, just correct everything that we was that was uh, incorrect today and just get back to the basics. What was that five delay today? Kind of let you know that you were going to be a big factor in the office with all the weather. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes and no. Uh, talked to all the backs, but yes, they, they kind of told told me they was going to lean towards me a little bit because I was having a good game at the time. How tough what were the conditions out there today? The cold, the wind, the rain, and a lot of things that you all hadn't been dealing with this year. Me personally, I liked it because we put the ball on the ground a lot more when it tends to rain. So personally, I liked it. Uh, I had fun out there except for the except for the loss today. But uh, So <laughs> rainy days are good days for running backs, kind of. So uh, I took advantage of it. Man, we just get in the film room tomorrow, uh, go hard on ourselves, make because this doesn't feel good at all. I feel like this feels this is a terrible feeling, so we just got to go back to the playbooks, go back in the film room, and just correct everything. I, mean, I know you guys blocking out the outside noise, everything away from here is part of what you do, but how much do you say the, the playoff brings to those who have to say you pay attention to that? Man, we can we, of course, we'll. To be to be all around, so we'll see it. But we got to just try to focus on that week, uh, man. Just like today, we we needed to focus on today. Didn't go as planned, so we can't worry about any rankings right now. We got to worry about winning the next game, correcting from today's game. Appreciate you.